when you are doing this filtration, if you notice that the filtrate has any other color apart from looking like solvent, if you notice, there is no difference between my solvent chamber here and the filtrate. It has, it's not gray, it's not yellow, and we know that triphenylmethane is white, so it should look the way it looks. If it is gray, that means some of the charcoal has overflown onto the filtrate. Then we have to do the filtration again. So be careful when you're filtering. And in between, while it is filtering, you want to keep this solution hot. So hold it right on the steam bath to make, making sure that it really stays hot. And then pour, bring it back to the steam bath, continue till everything is filtered. And then once all of this is filtered, we will rinse the flask a couple of times with the hot solvent to ensure no product is lost. So I have transferred all of the liquid. There is some charcoal left here there is some more charcoal on the filter paper but we really as I said want to ensure that we recover as much of the compound as possible so I'm going to rinse this with some hot solvent you can rinse it with two portions of 5 ml of hot solvent again this 5 milliliters is about so if you want to use a graduate cylinder to take 5 milliliters and pour, that is okay. But I am just going to do an eye estimation here. Heat it. Of course the solvent was already hot so it won't take that long to warm it up. Transfer the contents and another 5 ml portion. By the way, this plastic pipette also measures 1 milliliter. The 1 ml mark is up to here. So if you want to use that as a measure, that's okay. Then you can do 5 times. If some of you didn't notice where the 1 ml mark was up to, it is written here. When you use the pipette, you can just take it out and see where it is up to. Then use that. Five ml. As I said, again, it is not necessary that it be exactly five milliliters. So for this as well, now we have made sure that we have transferred all of the compound. So this flask is done. We will wait for all of that to filter. And what do I have to do? Remember, we diluted this liquid. We had originally up to this level I used the wax pencil to mark and then I added extra solvent because I did not want premature crystallization of the product during hot filtration so now that we have finished hot filtration or we are about to finish hot filtration you want to concentrate this solution to the same mark okay now that I have put this original flask next to each other notice there is a mark here that I had made originally so corresponding to the same mark make another mark on that flask again this is approximate but we want to make sure that we do concentrate the solution to that level okay if in the meantime you notice that there are some crystals that are forming at the tip of the stemless funnel what you can do is just take a little bit of hot solvent and squirt that will redissolve the crystals that are formed and so this way we won't lose any of our material okay. when you notice that there isn't any more filtrate dripping from the stemless funnel you are ready to start concentrating this solution